TFT has really grown in the past year competitively. Some of the people who are household names right now might not be household names in a year or two. Overall, the, the elevated level of play is, is going to be great. It's going to be the best TFT tournament ever. TFT as an esport, the thing that makes it really good is the fact that like it's kind of unpredictable and in a way anyone can win. I love how so many small things make a difference when it comes to teamfight tactics. There's literally always improvements that you can make. I think it is one of the most complex strategy games to have ever been created. I think what I love best about Teamfight Tactics is that every game just feels fundamentally different. In the history of this game, this game could be around for a thousand years and no one will ever play a perfect game of TFT which is awesome. When you play this at the highest level, it almost feels beautiful. The level of creativity and adjusting on the fly to what the game is giving you, it's just great. When you can have a game like that, that has such a high skill ceiling, but is also so accessible, the combination of those two things really kind of make for a great esport in a lot of cases. I think the Galaxy's Global Finals versus the Faith Global Finals, you're gonna start to see just a higher elevation of a lot of small things across the board. When you compare this set to last set, is just sort of the growth of the scene overall. You know, the, the prize pools being bigger, more players being involved from uh, the different regions. I think part of what makes TFT such a great esport is when you bring together players from different regions, you get to see a true clash of styles that plays out much differently than does in other esports. In my opinion, I think the player that has the best chance of winning is Mismatch Socks. I think Mismatch Socks has the best chance of winning. Mismatch Socks. Socks? Mismatch Socks. He is able to identify the path to victory better than almost any other player. We saw the dominance in the NA Regional final and I very much so think that he can take that dominance and bring it to the global stage. When I think about the best TFT players in the world I really always begin with mismatch socks. I think if you're looking for underdogs you have to look at some of the minor regions. Uh, Japan performed really well last year. Yeah, I think you've got players that are just like so incredibly good in a quiet sense like Kuram X where he's not making a ton of flashy plays but he just doesn't really make mistakes. If anyone were to contest mismatch socks I think I have to be looking at a, a Jing. Jing would be my safe. But what I'm the most excited for about TFT Worlds is, is just the variety of what we're going to see. I'm really excited to see high stakes TFT where players are under the max amount of pressure and they get to see who's going to be the champion that represents the region. It's going to be a good time. That's a great thing for the tournament is that we're going to get those good representations of regional styles at Worlds. This is the chance to really prove which region is playing TFT the best. And I think what's going to happen is after that, after this tournament, everyone's going to start looking to that region to learn from. And that's a massive step in the right direction when it comes to making TFT a staple in the esports space.